Tulum is a vortex. It's incredibly magical. There's this sort of spiritual energy. Tulum is relaxed, peaceful, come away from home. The beaches are amazing. The ocean is so rich. Bienvenidos a la Riviera Maya. Bienvenidos a México. The Mayans made this place as a place for exchanging, for commerce. And right now, Tulum, it's really that. There's culture, there's really good food. It's this incredible global travel destination, but it's also like a small town. I don't know, Tulum is magical. <laughs> That's the word, there's nothing else. Everything is designed and produced by us here in Tulum. All our jewelry and accessories are inspired in like going back to basics. The design of the shop is as well pretty you know, different. We have sand floor, we have a lot of driftwood in it. It's kind of like an extension of the beach. The idea of La Tante Rose is to have Mexican products. People uh, pass by this road, uh, they see the shop, uh, they kind of like the colors and the idea. Most of the time uh, when uh, American people come, uh, they are mesmerized by the look of mezcal. But uh, my personal favorite is uh, 1800 Añejo. It's not too expensive, you know, it's quite uh, common to find it, but I like it. When you come here, you don't realize that it is kind of a chic fashion-y spot. Josa Tulum is my jungle store. We design dresses that are one-size-fit-all and they go from day into evening. So you can wear them in the beach and then you can turn them into a night evening dress and go out on the town. They say that if you come to Tulum and you miss the underwater world, you miss half of its beauty. In the Yucatan Peninsula, all the fresh water is running under the ground. Cenote is the entrance of the On the Run River system. Actunchen is a natural park. We have a dry cave. We have a cenote for swim. At the park, we are trying to improve always, so we are trying to do a night show. So we are doing a little bit of the cave, then we swim, and we have a little shaman purification and mariachis. For me, this place is very, very special because it's one of the places who is really holding the real Tulum. Maya Tulum has been here for 30 years. We provide yoga and meditation. It's a magical space where it is silent, it's very peaceful. The Wellness Center is open for anyone from anywhere in the world. Our yoga classes as well, our meditations. It's a space for everyone to just come and enjoy. The nightlife is Gitano. <laughs> Gitano is a mescaleria. The cocktails are inspired from 1940s tiki cocktails. We bring in DJs from all over the world. We have artists, we have musicians, we have people of all different walks of life. It's sexy, it's the place to see, be seen. I think we've been able to show that you can still have that pared back beauty, but still have fun and a bit of glamour, shall I say. Food in Tulum has really been taken to the next level. It's kind of turning into a foodie mecca. Tamas has been here for 20 years. It's one of the first restaurants in Tulum. People should come to Samas because you can't beat that view. Huevas Rancheros is one of our oldest things in the menu. We make it a little bit different because the tortilla, instead of being flat, is crispy. So it's a nice touch. I love Restaurare. It's the best vegan restaurant I've been to here in Mexico. It's something, it's insane. The kitchen in Restaurare 
is based on Mexican dishes, but uh, it has a little bit of a twist of Asian food. Having a vegan restaurant was a little bit difficult, but the people are coming back and coming back and it's uh, satisfying. <laughs> Hardwood, well, that's probably the, the gem of uh, Tulum restaurants. The food that we serve all is organically grown. All the uh, fish for the restaurant is spear caught, and that is then put into a menu that is based between the land and the sea. It's a very simple kitchen. It's a wood-burning uh, grill, and it's a wood-burning oven. We have a solar refrigerator, and we have everything else on ice. We cook for the day. Every day that you wake up and you see the sun and you can look around you and see all green and you can see fruits that you've never seen before or vegetables that you've never worked with, that's something special. That's something to be very thankful for.